Good morning, Hot Room Yogis. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Happy Easter, happy late Easter. Um, yeah, so it's already been a month, if you can believe it. It has already been uh, a month. So I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. I know um, I've talked to a bunch of you and I know um, it's tough right now. I know that people are struggling um, in a lot of different ways. So my, um, my best wishes and thoughts are with you, but what I hope for all of us as a community when we come out of this, when we emerge and rise up and out, that um, we will have a whole newfound appreciation for maybe the small little things that we took for granted before this. Um, but in the meantime, try to take care of yourself. Eat well, sleep well, move. Make sure you're moving, moving around, exercising, um, just move, get out of the house <laughs> and go for a walk or go for a run. Um, but make sure you're moving, getting some fresh air. All right, uh, today let's do uh, a 60 minute uh, Bikram music class. Uh, the format seemed to work really well last week. Um, I'll give you some verbal instruction in at least uh, one of the sets so that if you're playing music at home, you can uh, pick your playlist and have that in the background if that uh, makes you feel good or if you don't want the music and you just want the words and a little bit of quiet, um, you can have some anatomy cues as we move through it. Um, and yeah, but it won't be as much talking, obviously, as a regular uh, class. So just a little bit to kind of um, give you something to work on while you're in the pose. All right, so we'll start with Pranayama. You're going to bring your uh, big toes and heels to touch. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin. Pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Lift your kneecaps, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, and on an inhale, begin. Elbows up, shoulders down. Stretch length in your spine. Exhale, head back. Open up your mouth. Exhale your air, elbows touch. Inhale, the chin comes down slow. Take your time, there is no rush. Elbows up. Exhale, head back, close the palms, and then your wrists, and your forearms, your elbows touch. Inhale, chin down, belly in. And then compress the abdominal wall, suck your stomach in tight, look straight ahead, exhale, head back. Squeeze the glutes, keep the weight into the heels, stretch your elbows forward, elbows touch. Inhale, as you bring the chin down, lift the elbows up, pull the shoulders down. Exhale, keep the shoulders in the down position, as you squeeze your tricep biceps away from your chest, inhale, chin comes down, lead into the heels. The legs are straight, quads are contracted. Exhale, pull the belly in. As you push your hips a little bit forward, drop your head, look back. Inhale, chin comes down slow, elbows up. Spine is back to straight, about the count of three. Exhale, drop the head, it's a backward bend at the next spine. Keep stretching elbows forward, they touch at the end. Inhale, chin down, elbows up, exhale, head back, eyes open, look way back, put a little pressure with your knuckles against the chin, inhale, chin down, nice and slow, and take your time, we're going to synchronize the arm with the breath movement, exhale, drop the head, squeeze elbow chips forward to touch, inhale, belly in, suck the stomach in, keep the belly in tight on the inhale, Exhale, drop the head. We'll keep the abdominal muscle contracted. That's enough, arms are by your side. For the full breath cycle, for the inhale and the exhale, belly pulls up, neck and set. Exhale through your nose and begin. Elbows up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. That's enough. Look forward, pick a spot with your eyes. Take an inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale to empty. Bhagavad right, Chandrasana with Padahastasana. Inhale the arms up. Cross your bones, release your index fingers. And when you bring the arms up, try to stretch the shoulders up with the ears, even as you're inhaling the arms up. So by the time the arms are coming together, the palms coming together, there's no gap eventually between the biceps, arms, and ears. The shoulders stretching up. You'll inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, move hips left and right. It's a little warm up. Come from the low spine and stretch up. Push the hips, pull the arms. And then come back to center. Weight in the heels, lift your kneecaps, squeeze your glutes, push hips forward. Hip muscles are tight. Take an inhale, you'll stretch up full lungs. Exhale, 20%. Hips go to the left. Upper body goes to the right. You're going to push the hips, left side of the room. Walk beyond your flexibility. All right, so the chin's lifting away from the chest. The arms are with your ears. You're pushing right hip over left ankle. You're using right arm to pull left arm up and over. You're going to keep working arms a little bit more behind your ears. Eventually, you'll have both of your ears visible in the front mirror. Your chin up one more time, push your hips, come all the way down, hold in stillness at the end, try not to move, and release. Inhale brings you back up to center. Take an inhale, we stretch out, fill the lungs, lengthen the spine, exhale 20%, hips push right away to the right side of the room. Weight stays in the heels, you can unclamp your toes. Sometimes we're clawed down in the foot and the weight is forward into the balls of the feet. And this one, you want the weight into the heels, unclamp your toes, and then squeeze inner thighs. Push left hip over right ankle bone. Use the left arm, pull right arm up and over. Come all the way down. As you pull tight, the lead to the spine. Keep bringing arms back, a little bit more behind your ears. Squeeze the elbows, squeeze the palms. Push the hips. Hold the arm, come all the way down. And release, inhale brings you back up to center. We're gonna drop our head for the backward bend. Keep the weight into the heels. So the spine is straight, except the neck, right? A little backward bend with the neck spine to start us off and then inhale, stretch up. Exhale, push, hips forward, weight into the heels, arms back with your ears. If you're the spot on the back wall, I want you to point your fingers at that spot. You try to touch the spot with the fingertips. Squeeze the glutes. Shoulders stretching up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop back. Release, slowly come up. I'm staying with the ears. It's a flat back, straight spine. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Chin is away from the chest, weight into the balls of the feet. All the way down. Hands on the mat. First set, you can drop your head. Let the muscles of the neck relax. Move your hips and bend your knees. Padahastasana. If you need to bend your knees to get the upper body onto the thighs, bend them as much as you need to. Otherwise, reach around, scoop up your heels, step on your fingers, face them forward, wall in front of you, thumbs with the pointer fingers, 
chin touching the knees, exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, start to pull. Stretch the crown of the head down towards the tops of the feet. Pull the shoulders up towards the ceiling away from your ears. Squeeze your elbow bones behind your leg muscles. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, pull. Release, arms back with your ears. Steeple grip, chin is away from your chest. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Do it from the side view. Inhale, arms up. Stretch up. Push hips. Pull your arms. Chin away from chest. Into the heels. Squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Push the hips. Pull the arms. Release. Come back up to center. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, push. You're trying to go in a straight line without leaning forward, without leaning back. Push the hips, pull the arms. Come all the way down. And release, back to the center line, drop your head. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop your bend. Release. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Second set, I like the ball squat. So you'll come high onto the tops of the toes, lift your heels, and just give a moment for the foot, the Achilles, the calf, the arch of the foot. Just a moment for it to stretch here and warm up. And drop your heels for second set. Scoop them up. Exhale through your nose, on an inhale, pull. You're trying to get the crown of the head closer to the tops of the feet. At the same time, you're lengthening the head down. You're pulling shoulders up towards the ceiling, away from your ears, continue to wrap your elbows, close the gap between the belly and the thighs. Eventually the legs will straighten. It's not a requirement. It's just a byproduct of the hamstring stretching. Release, arms are with your ears, chin away from chest. Exhale, arms down. And take a breath, inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Utkatasana. Right foot steps out six inches. Inhale, arms up, palms parallel to the ground. Your five fingers are squeezing together. Pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Reach your fingers forward so that the triceps and biceps are engaged. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees, sit down. Automatically weight into the heels, belly pulls in. Chest lifted away from the thighs, chin up. Bend your knees. You want to sit a little bit deeper. Shift the weight back at the same time onto the heels. Bend your knees one more time. Lean upper body back and change. All the way up from second part, tops of the toes, heels up. Knees up, inhale, exhale, lower down. Spine is straight. Keep the shoulders over the hips, come up high onto the balls of the feet, maybe off the ball of the foot onto the big toe. Keep lifting heels up, knees up. Pull from the pubic bone to the belly button in. Contract the abdominal muscle and release all the way up. Third part, lift your heels just a little bit, squeeze your knees, inhale, and a slow exhale to lower down without leaning forward, without leaning back. You'll squeeze from the knee all the way to the crotch pubic bone. Don't stop squeezing, squeeze tight. Half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Shoulders over hips, spine straight, knees angled down. Stretch crown of the head up and release. Squeeze the knees to come out, pull the belly in, heels down, arms by your side. Take a breath, inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Second set, right foot step six inches. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit low. 
From the front view, you can see the knees are stacked right on top of the ankle bones. The knees are squeezing in. Open them up. Bend your knees. Send the tailbone back. Keep the chest lifted. Reach your fingers forward. Change. All the way up. Second part. Heels up, knees up. Inhale. Exhale to lower down. Heels up, knees up, spine straight. Change. All the way up. Third part. Squeeze knees in half. Slow exhalation to help you straighten the spine. As you stretch the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Come all the way down without sitting on your heels. There's still a small gap between the hips and the heels. You're angling the knees down, pulling belly in, stretching spine up, hold still. Change, slowly come up, squeeze knees. All the way up, and arms by your side. Inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Varasana. Inhale, arms up. Right arm swings underneath the left arm. Pull the shoulders down. You're working to get the fingertips below the nose, maybe one day below the chin. Pull the shoulders down. Palms parallel to each other, the fingertips line up. Inhale to stretch the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, sit low. Inhale, lift the right leg up. And exhale will help you wrap the toes. You're gonna to squeeze inner thighs. Immediately shift back onto the heel if you've uh, rocked forward. Pull belly in tight. Squeeze inner thighs. Now you'll bring your knees to the right. Get the left hip a little forward. Upper body to the left, get the two shoulders level, keep pulling the elbows down, and change. Inhale, arms up. Left arm swings underneath the right. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sit low. Inhale to lift the left leg up. Exhale to help you wrap the toes. Send the butt back. Squeeze the elbows in, squeeze the inner thighs. Weight is in your heels, your chest is lifting. As you pull the elbows down and the shoulders down, I want you to stretch the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Get a little taller in the spine and release. Inhale, arms up. Right arm underneath the left. You wanna use your breath, inhale. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, right leg comes up as high as you can get it to help you clear the bone of the knee, all right? So the higher you lift the leg, the more success you're gonna have getting the toes to wrap behind the leg on the calf muscle. And keep pulling the elbows down, suck your stomach in. Weight into the heel. Chest lifted. And release, inhale, arms up. Left arm underneath the, underneath the right, inhale. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, lift, go high. Exhale, wrap the toes. Bend the knees, sit low into your chair. Weight is in your heels. Eventually, you'll have the back of the right thigh parallel to the floor. The chest is lifted, belly is in. Pull the shoulders down. And release, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down by your side, inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Dande Yamana Janu Sharasana. We'll do it from the side view. We're going to shift the weight into the ball of the standing leg foot. This is really important, the weight distribution. So weight into the ball of the foot. The left quadricep lifts up. The spine is straight. And on an inhale, bend the knee around the spine and bring your upper body to the grip. Thumbs at the base of the toes. Flex the toes of the right foot back towards your face. We is still into the ball of the foot, so much so that you could lift the heel off the mat. The left leg is solid. There's no bend or wobble or bone contracting the left thigh bicep. So it's a little bit like a squirrel <laughs> running around after another squirrel in a tree. Yeah, have you ever seen squirrels play chase? 
It's kind of like that. The minute you shift the weight forward, the knee will buckle and bend. So you're gonna come back to the standing leg, lift up on the left kneecap, keep the weight into the ball of the foot, back of the right thigh parallel to the floor, flexing toes the right foot back towards your face, belly in. You're trying to integrate all of the body parts at the same time. And release. Back to neutral, spine is straight. Inhale through the nose. Exhale to empty. Right leg is solid, weight into the ball of the foot. Left leg comes up. Exhale, round the spine. Bring your upper body to the grip. Thumbs at the base of the toes. Flex all five toes of the left foot back towards your face. And the standing leg is locked. We're rounding the spine, creating an extension on the back side of the spine and all the vital organs, and then the front side we're compressing, right? So we're sucking the stomach in. When the belly goes soft, find it, squeeze it back up and in, right? Same thing with the right leg, right? The idea is that over time with practice, you'll be able to keep the muscles recruited for the prescribed amount of time, right? Without an interruption to the contraction. The abdominal muscle, the right quadricep muscle, keep coming back, pulling belly and lifting right kneecap, lock your knee, and really slowly come down. Spine is back to straight. It's really normal to have some cramping in the low spine when you release the posture. Perfectly fine. Just stand still, stand tall, stretch the spine up, allow the vertebral column to restack. Second set. Actually, we'll do that one from the side view too. All right. Left leg locked, inhale, right leg up. Round, pick up the ball of the foot. Inhale through the nose. Exhale to empty. Inhale, suck your stomach in. Exhale, kick, heel forward. Right hip, shift forward. Bend the elbows down. Elbows below the calf muscle. Tuck the chin and round. Bring forehead to the knee. Head up. Elbows straight. Bend the right knee. Right leg come down. Set. Use the breath. Inhale. Exhale to empty. Left side, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the upper body to the grip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, kick. Bend the elbows. Tuck and round. Head up, elbow straight, left leg down. Inhale, slow exhale to empty. Full pulling pose. Let's do it from the front side first. Right elbow out. You're going to reach around, grab your foot. Grab at the ankle bone and squeeze the knees. Eventually, you'll be able to grab the foot without the right knee flaring. All right? You don't have to chicken wing it. <laughs> so for those of you that are looking for the next layer, bend at the knee. Squeeze the knees while you bend. Grab the ankle. Inhale, left arm up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, reach and kick. Point your fingers of the left hand at your third eye center. So you don't want your arm dropped down real low. Arm up. Point the toes of the right foot up towards the ceiling. And then with the good grip at the ankle, you can kick the heel away from the right glute. At the same time, reaching left fingertips more forward towards third eye center. Drop your abdomen, chest down. Feel the belly stretch as the backside of the spine compresses. 
coming out. Reaching kick. And release. Kick to bring you out in control. Arms down by your side. Inhale. Slow exhale. Left elbow out. Bend your left knee. Reach behind you. Grab your foot. Inhale. Right arm up. Right shoulder stretches up. Chin shoulder touching. The arm is back. We're not forward in the setup. Arm back. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching kick. Now the left shoulder is pulling back. The right shoulder is reaching forward as you point your fingers third eye center. Your chin will come on the shoulder and it'll sit. You'll have a connection between the chin shoulder. Keep kicking. You bring your body down. Feel the belly stretch. Drop abdomen and chest down. Reach and kick. Reach and kick. Reach and kick. And release the kick to bring you out with control. Arms down by your side and half. So exhale to empty. From the side view, second set. Right elbow out, grip, inhale, exhale, kick. Left double up. Grip. Inhale. Exhale, kick. You'll take a step to the back of your space, big toes and heels touch, and now arms up overhead. Cross your thumbs, release your index fingers. You're going to inhale, stretch the spine up, right leg step, come down. Arms are with your ears, chin is lifted away from your chest, drop your left hip down, suck your stomach in, and reach forward, point the toes, Reach back, chest down, leg up, arms up, chest down, and release. Slowly come back. Inhale, stretch up. Left leg set. Two legs are locked. Come down. The right hip as you're shifting forward. Keep the right hip dropping down. Arms with your ears. I want you to feel the muscles of the legs engage. Stretch. Toes of the right foot towards the back wall. Change. Slowly come up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. It's our second set. Inhale, arms up. Step. Begin. Change. It happened. Left leg step. Begin. Change. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Slow exhale. Step to the top of your space, the court of turn, the big toes and heels touch. Inhale the arms up. Same thing when you bring the arms up, stretch the shoulders up so you can eliminate the gap between the arms and the ears, even in the setup. 
And then the right foot steps. Arms down at the same time as you step. Toes are forward or slightly in. Palms parallel to the floor. You're gonna push your hips a little forward, not to backward bend, just to keep the chest lifted, shoulders over hips, so the spine is straight in the setup. And as you inhale, stretch up. Exhale to come down. Weight into the balls of the feet. The arms are stretching in opposite directions. Suck your stomach in. Come all the way down with the flattest spine as you can manage. Grab your heels, thumbs with the pointer fingers, suck your stomach in. Inhale. Exhale, start to pull. Crown of the head down towards the ground. And you're trying to touch your third eye center to the mat. You'll bend your elbows. Elbows touch calves, the shin bones. Pull shoulders up towards the ceiling, away from your ears. Keep rolling forward. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. And release. Chin comes away from the chest, arms out, and then you come up from the low spine with a flat back. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, arms down. Second set, inhale, arms up. Right foot step. Inhale, exhale, come down. Grab the feet. Inhale, exhale, pull. Change. Chin away from chest. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, arms down. Trikonasana. Inhale, arms up. Right foot step. Pick up the toes, pivot. Bend your knee. Sit low into the lunge. The left leg stays straight. The shoulder stretching opposite direction. Push the knee back. Left hip drops down. All right. Belly is in. Inhale. Exhale. Move your both arms. Elbow to knee. Chin to shoulder. Arm stretch. Six and twelve o'clock. Fingertips go in between the big and pointer toe when the back of the thigh is parallel to the floor. So, if you're doing this, it's no good. Chest is down. You want to keep chest lifted. Turn and twist. Chest up. Chin to the shoulder, stretch out, left shoulder up, right shoulder, stretch down, and release, stay in the lunge, straighten the leg, pick up the toes, pivot, bend the knees, sit low, inhale, exhale, move the arms, elbow to knee, chin to shoulder, arms straight up and down, turn and twist. As you twist the chest up, I want you to use the left elbow to push against the knee. Suck your stomach in. Look up. Right leg is solid. Lift up on the right kneecap. And release. Pick up the toes, pivot. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, arms down. Second set, inhale. Arms up, right foot step. Pick up the toes, pivot. Bend your knee. Flip your palms and go. Elbow to knee, chin to shoulder. Keep dropping left hip down. Eventually you'll have a straight line from the ankle all the way to the hip bone, but lift the right ribs up. You turn and twist chest up, look up. And release, stay in the lunge and straighten the legs. Pick up the toes, pivot, pivot. Bend your knees, sit low, inhale. Exhale to move the arms, elbow to knee, chin to shoulder. Two heels are in a straight line. Your back foot, your toes can point straight ahead or you can even turn in a little bit, 45 degree angle. When you have the range of motion, it's harder to have the, um, the toes at a 45 degree angle. And really slowly come up, straighten the leg, pivot, inhale right foot. Exhale, arms down. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Dande Yamana Vapakta Pada Janu Sharasana. Inhale, arms up. Right foot step. Pick up the toes, pivot. 
to heels in a straight line, left hip comes around, front foot point it straight ahead, back foot angle your toes at a 45 degree angle, shoulders up with your ears, palms together, wrists are straight, inhale, stretch out, exhale, tuck, and round, forehead to the knee. Suck your stomach in and keep dropping left hip down and forward towards the ground. Walk your forehead up a little bit higher on your thigh. Elbows are straight. Middle finger touch the floor and release. Slowly come out. Squeeze your inner thighs. Keep your chin tucked. Chin up last. Pick up the toes. Pivot. Pivot. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck and round. Release. Chin up last, pick up the toes, pivot. Inhale, right foot. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Slow exhale to empty. We'll do a second set. If you're having a hard time getting your forehead and knee to touch, take a wider step. Tuck the chin a little more. All right, those two will help you close the gap. And if all else fails, just keep bending the knee. Bend the knee as much as you need to to get forehead and knee to touch. Second set. Inhale, arms up. Step. Pivot, inhale, exhale. Touch. Pivot, pivot, inhale. Change. Pivot. Inhale. Exhale. Tree. Let's start with the side view. Tree is a hip opener. Um, you're going to work as best you can, left leg locked, as best you can to bring the heel up as high as you can and straight away start to gently push the right knee down and back without sticking the butt up. So the spine stays straight, shoulders over hips. We're going to gently open up the right hip by pressing right knee down and back. Bring left hand heart center, right hand namaskar, elbows in, shoulders down. Keep pushing gently, right knee down and back. Waiting to the ball of the foot. The standing leg is locked. Left quadricep lifting up and then press your right ankle into the left thigh bicep. This will help you keep the foot up, not slipping. And release, slowly lower down. Right leg is solid, left leg comes up as high as you can get it. Left knee down and back straight away with the weight into the ball of the right foot. Opening up left hip crease, two hands heart center, elbows in, shoulders down, stretch the spine. Gently work to push left knee down and back without sticking the butt back. All right. Shoulders over, hips spine straight. Padangustasana, right leg comes up, two hands heart center, spine straight, come down with the flat back, weight into the ball of the foot, so you're not sending the butt back beyond the heel. Hands on the floor, lift your heel, bend your knee. Shoulders over hips, the spine is straight, before you worry about taking your hands off the floor. 
a spot with your eyes. And if you're not rounding forward, spine is straight, left hand, right hand. Push the right knee down, stretch the crown of the head up, and release. Reverse out of the pose. Change again. Right leg comes down, right leg is solid, left leg comes up. Come down with the flat back, weight into the ball of the right foot. Push gently left knee down and back, even on your way down. Hands on the floor, lift your heel, bend your knee. The spine is straight before you worry about taking your hands off the floor. No rush. Left knee press gently down and back. Two hands hard center. Release, hands to the floor. Reverse out the way you went in. And change again. You'll turn around, lay down, it's time to relax. Savasana. Bring your heels to touch, let the big toes fall open. Palms are facing up, the arms are on your mat, they're close to the side body. So maybe the pinky fingers touching the outside of the thighs. Relax the shoulders down. Pick one spot on the ceiling. Focus your eyes and just start breath. All right, we come straight into the breath. Inhale through the nose. And then slow, soft. Exhale through the nose to empty. Padmanuttasana. Lift tuck the chin. Inhale the right leg up. Go around the rib cage. Interlace your fingers. Go below the knee. Squeeze the elbows in. The chin stays tucked. Relax your feet. Left shoulder, drop it down. And use your upper arm strength to pull the right knee into the right armpit. To inhale, roll the tailbone down. Exhale, pull. Knee a little closer into the chest. Change. Palms face up, heel touch. Inhale, left leg come up around your rib cage. Release your fingers. You can relax the feet. The back of the right heel should be flat to the floor, so there's no turnout on the right foot toes. Back of the heel flat to the floor, and then relax your feet. Pull. Right shoulder drop it down. Tuck the chin. And change. Palms face up, heel touch. And elbow legs come up. Put the bone to the elbow, the palm of each hand. I'm trying to get the tailbone down. So the spine is straight, all parts of the spine flat to the floor, stretching. Tuck the chin. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. And pull. Knees into the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Change. Palms face up, heels touch, slowly lower down. Savasana. Second set. Inhale, right leg come up. Make sure it clears the bone of the ribs. Take a grip. Get a good grip. Relax your feet. Tuck the chin. Trying to get the back of both shoulders flat to the floor. Sometimes we lift the right leg up and we roll to the right side and the left shoulder's way off the ground. Drop the left shoulder down, flatten the spine, pull. Release, right leg, heel touch, inhale, left leg comes up around the rib cage. Take a grip, pull, tuck the chin. Look down the center line of the chest, your eyes open.
change. Heel touch and elbow flex come up. Squeeze the knees together. Put a different forearm in the front position. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Try to flatten your spine. We'll use the inhale to help us roll our hips down. And the exhale to squeeze the knees together, the knees pull into the chest. Change, palms face up, heels touch. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up. Sit up, double exhale. Turn around, cobra. Bring your chin away from your chest. Fingertips line up with the shoulders. Squeeze your two legs into one. Exhale through your nose. Then on and inhale, come up. Push the belly down, squeeze your glutes. Pull the ribs away from the ground. Shoulders down, away from your ears, or left. Elbows squeeze tight to the side body, come up. Bend really slowly lower. Left ear down. Second set, chin forward. Fingers line up with the shoulders, palms flat to the floor. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale, come up. Once you come up, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your knees, squeeze your ankles, look up. And release, slowly come down. Right hand up. Salabhasana, chin forward, lift your hips, bring your arms underneath your body, so get your pinkies to touch, and spread your fingers wide, palms face down. Relax your left leg, exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, the right leg lifts up. Press the palms into the mat, shift the weight forward, use your fingertips to press into the mat to lift your right leg up a little higher, right hip presses down, and release, slowly come down. Relax the right leg, exhale, inhale, lift, left leg up, press palms into the mat, shift forward. Shoulders go down, eyes are open. You're looking one spot, forward in front of you. And release, slowly lower. Mouth down for the third part, two legs become one. Exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, come up. Release the hand, palms, left ear down. Second set, chin forward. Lift your hips, arms underneath the body. Spread your fingers wide your elbows disappear. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale, come up. Press the palms down, shift the weight forward, use the muscles of the upper back to help you lift the leg up. Point your toes and release. Right leg comes down, relax and exhale. Inhale, lift, left leg come up. Drop the left hip down, press palms into the mat. Shift shoulders down and forward, leg up, lift. And release, slowly lower down. Mouth down for the third part. Two legs become one. Exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, start to lift both legs up. Release. Right ear down.
Vanasalavasana, chin forward, bring your arms straight out. Five fingers of each hand squeezing together. I want you to stretch the shoulders up towards the ceiling, away from the ears. And squeeze your shoulder blades gaffle behind your back. Two legs into one. Exhale, and on an inhale, look up and come up. Arms up, legs up, chest up. Chin away from chest, look up. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the knees, come up one more inch, and release, slowly lower down, and relax. Second set, chin forward, arms straight out, exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, look up, and come up, chest up, everything off the floor in the air, fingers reaching away from the chest, opposite ends of the room, squeeze your glutes, your knees, your heels, come up one more inch, and release, and be lower. Anurasana, chin forward, bend your knees, catch your feet, pinkies at the base of the toes, thumbs with the pointer fingers, pull the shoulders up and back, exhale through your nose and on, inhale, look up and start to kick. Relax the shoulders back, the harder you kick, the more stretch you're going to get across the shoulders, the shoulders are attached to the trunk, the more you kick into the hand palms, the more the chest will lift off the floor in here, look up. And release, slowly lower down. Left ear down. Second set, chin forward. Bend your knees, catch your feet. Exhale through your nose. On an inhale, fill your lungs and start to kick. When your lungs are full, about five, six seconds into the posture, you're going to let go of 20% of your air and maintain the posture 80 20 breathing. Small sips of the top 20% lung capacity. Kick. And release slowly forward. Drasana, push up. You'll come to the upper top portion of your space. Bring the knees together. Make a cradle for your hips. So the heels have to be wide enough so that you're not sitting on your heels for this posture. We make the mistake we don't bring the feet wide enough and then our butt's not touching the floor, there's a gap. So knees squeeze together, but open up your feet wide enough so that you can sit your hips on the floor in between the heels and then you can take a Point your finger and press it down um, in between the hip and the heel. Make sure there's enough space. You want a little gap, but you should be able to stick a finger. This will ensure that you're not sitting on your heels. All right, toes point straight back. Hands on your feet. It's not a twist to get into the posture. So instead of this and then this, I want you to practice squeezing the knees together, squeezing elbows in, and then come down Try to tap the elbows at the same time. It's really hard. You're going to notice that the knees pop off the floor when you're trying to do it. Um, just keep squeezing knees all the way up to the inner thighs. Squeeze tight, right? And then it's top of the head. Back of the head. Right shoulder, left shoulder. You can bring both shoulders at the same time eventually. 
Keep the lift in the chest and then bring your arms overhead. So the shoulders kind of work as a kickstand to keep the chest lifted. And then you're gonna pull the shoulders down towards the big toes. As you push the belly up towards the ceiling, squeeze the knees, tuck the chin, and then I want you to push the butt down. Butt down, belly up. And release, hands to the floor. So we come out. One long set of that in the music class. And lay down. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up. Sit up, double exhale. <coughs> Turn around. Ardha Karmasana. So we're gonna sit our hips onto our heels. Before you sit down onto your heels, you wanna get into the habit of squeezing the heels together in a touch. Sometimes we sit down, the big toes are crossed and the heels are slayed open. I want you to line up all 10 toes, squeeze the heels, and then keep the heels together so the hips down. It'll help you open up the ankle joint. All right, we're gonna do this motion, this action, um, a lot in the next several postures. So keep working ankles in, tops of the feet flat to the floor, squeeze the knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come down, chin away. Pull the belly in. Put your forehead to the floor first, and then the tip of the middle finger touch. Shoulders up with the ears, you're trying to stretch the spine. Inhale, exhale, sit the hips a little closer towards the heels. You want your elbows straight, shoulders up with the ears. Inhale, stretch, shoulders, elbows, fingers forward. Exhale, squeeze the heels and sit the hips back down. And release, chin away from chest, arms with your ears. To straight spine all the way up. Exhale, arms down, Savasana. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up. Sit up. Second set, we'll turn around. You're at the back of your space. Knees together, feet together. Sit your hips onto your heels. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Exhale, come down. Chin away from the chest. All the way down, arms squeeze with the ears. Squeeze your heels, squeeze your knees. Forehead touch first. Eventually, you'll be able to keep your hips on your heels all the way down. But if the hips have to come off of the heels to get your forehead to need to touch, it's no problem. Get your forehead to touch the floor and then work to get your hips back down onto your heels. Chin away from your chest. Inhale, stretch. Shoulders, elbows, fingers forward. Exhale, squeeze the heels, the knees, sit hips back down onto the heels. Chin slowly come up. Exhale, turn around. Savasana. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up, sit up. <laughs> Camel pose, and turn around, come to the middle or top of the space. Six inches between your knees and your feet, tops of the feet flat to the floor. The shoulders are over the hips. We wanna keep the hips over the knees for the entire posture, this is hard. Um, sometimes we're in a rush to get back to our heels to grab the feet and uh, we'll push the butt back to get closer to the feet. That's no good. Hips stay over the knees, chest, hips, pushing forward towards front of the room. So you bring your hands on the back, elbows in, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop the head, hips forward. If you don't have to move the butt back to grab the feet, right hand, 
Release right hand, left hand, come up slow, chin comes up last, and turn around. Second set. Flex your feet. Inhale, arms up. Sit up. Second set. You turn around. Still six inches between the knees, the feet. Bring the hands on the low back. Point your fingers down, thumbs with the pointer fingers. Maybe the pinkies touch side by side. All right, elbows back, shoulders back. So take the round out of the shoulder heads. Inhale. Exhale. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up, sit up. Rabbit. You'll grab your heels. Instead of leaning forward, maybe just lift the hips up and then sit the hips back down. Thumbs outside, eight fingers on the inside. Inhale to stretch up, exhale to tuck it around. Forehead touches the knee, and then you lift hips away from heel. Pull. Okay. Pull the shoulders down, hips down, and then you uncoil the spine. The chin comes up last. Turn around. Sabasana. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up, sit up. Second set, turn around, sit hips onto the heels. You're gonna grab your heels. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, tuck. Forward tuck. Hips down, chin up, relax. Like your feet, now arms up, sit up. <laughs> Lotus pose. Music class, we do lotus. Left leg comes out. Uh, this is the beginner's way. I like to teach it the beginner's way with the left leg out. Right foot up, bend your knee, heel towards top of the thigh. Right knee, drop it down. So this is just a tree on the floor. We've already been here. Tree on the floor. Most everybody can do this. Um, you'll notice that the knee is high because the hip is tight. So eventually the knee drops down. 
Uh, everybody else, you lean forward when you're ready to go into step two. Grab the foot and slide the heel up. So you'll have two heels high, um, two knees low, sits bones on the floor, shoulders over hips, spine straight. And from here, there's a bunch of postures that we can do. We won't do them today, um, but a bunch of postures that we can do in Lotus. Um, but first, we practice the Lotus. You're all warmed up. It's a great, um, great opportunity. Even in your regular classes, you guys, when Savasana is all done, um, you have a minute or two at the end of the class, just you know, practice your Lotus, the master posture. And release very slowly. You'll bend your left knee for spine twist. Left knee line up with the left hip, right foot over, ankle knee touch, sole of the right foot flat to the floor, the toes point straight ahead. Move your left heel out, drop your right hip down, and then tuck your heel and point your toes. So now my spine is straight, shoulders over hips. We're going to take the left hand up without twisting the wrist, slide your palm between the ankle and the knee. So the three things touch and then pull your shoulder down. And actually I'm gonna do this from the side so you guys can get the side view of it. I want you to pull the shoulders down. So eventually you'll have two shoulders in a straight line. So sometimes we actually have to drop left shoulder down and right shoulder up. So when you grab behind your back, sometimes we're on a tilt or we're collapsed. Left shoulder down, right shoulder up. Inhale, exhale, twist. And really slowly untwist. Bend your right knee, line your right knee up with your right hip, left foot. Ankle knee touching so you're not way back at the thigh. Barely a little shelf for the ankle and the knee. Move the right heel, drop the left hip down and then tuck your heel, point the toes. The shoulders are over the hips, the spine is straight. Inhale, right arm up. Without twisting the wrist, slide the wrist between the ankle and the knee. So you're not grabbing below the knee, you're gonna slide Get the palm to touch. Grab your hand, or grab your right foot, uh, grab your right thigh with your left hand. Right shoulder down, left shoulder up. Inhale, exhale, twist. And really slowly unwind the spine. Kapalabhati, knees together, feet together. Again, another excellent opportunity. Squeeze your heels together and then sit down onto your heels. Elbow straight, relax the belly, spine straight, stretch the spine up. Inhale, fill the lungs and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Soften the belly. You can inhale through the nose. Second set is double time. Begin. Turn around, lie down, relax. It uh, is my pleasure to be here with you in whatever way that I can be here um, for you and with you um, when we can't physically be together. It's a total bummer. It's a bummer. Um, but we're doing what we need to do. So um, I miss you guys and I love you guys and oh, the heat's gonna be so good <laughs> when we get to do it 
uh, together in the heat. So take care, be safe, be well, be kind, please be kind to each other. You know, kind of this quarantine situation has made some people um, a little aggressive, a little uh, anxious, a little um, mean, right? So be kind, please be kind. Um, I'll see you guys real soon. Namaste.